Hi, I'm Ryan from Ratings.com. Today, we'll be doing a review of the SteelSeries Apex Pro. We'll be evaluating it on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. We bought and tested the full-size version of the Apex Pro, and we expect the 10 keyless version of this keyboard to perform similarly. It is a full-sized, wired RGB keyboard with adjustable linear mechanical switches so you can change the actuation point of each key for different use cases, and we'll explore the performance of this a bit later on. It has all the main specification you'd expect from a higher-end gaming-oriented keyboard. The SteelSeries Apex Pro is very well built. It has a plastic chassis and aluminum base plate that feels very solid. It has great ABS double-shot keycaps that feel durable too. The rubber magnetic wrist rest is also well built, but it is a dust magnet. The stabilizers are pretty good. There's a slight rattle to them, but it's not too noticeable. It's a straight keyboard with good ergonomics. It comes with a nice magnetic detachable wrist rest, but only features a single incline setting. Unfortunately, the feet open up vertically, meaning that they can fold back in if you push your keyboard forward. The rubber feet are good and keep the board in place for the most part though, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. The backlight is fully customizable. It is a full RGB keyboard with shine through keycaps, and you can change the keys individually through the software, as well as select your preferred lighting option directly on the board itself and control the brightness level. It gets pretty bright for usage during the day and can be lowered for gaming sessions at night or in the dark when you want to see your keys but not be blinded by them. The black keys provide a nice contrast with the backlight to make it easy to see where you are typing in darker environments. The cable is integrated into the board since it is a wired only keyboard and it comes with two connectors. This is due to the USB pass-through functionality of the keyboard so you can plug a USB device into the keyboard directly which is useful for things like mice and USB thumb drives. Now, on to the test results, and first we'll take a look at the functionality of this keyboard. The SteelSeries Apex Pro has a lot of amazing extra features. It has dedicated media keys like volume control and playback control with the wheel and menu button. You can also program every key to the function that you want through the SteelSeries GG software. It has a Windows lock key for uninterrupted gaming, and the OLED screen is fully customizable. You can show off anything you want, whether it's an image or a GIF. The software works on both Windows and Mac, and the keyboard is fully compatible on both. It's easy to use and provides a plethora of customization options, including macros, profiles, RGB lighting control, and has onboard memory to store it all. Not only that, the board has macro programming built into the board itself, so there's no need for software to create some macros on the fly if you are traveling, say, to a friend's house. Note, the keyboard isn't fully compatible on Linux since there's no accompanying software to get the most out of the keyboard, but it'll do the job just fine in most cases. Now, onto the typing experience. This is a unique keyboard, and we're finally getting around to its party piece. It utilizes SteelSeries' own OmniPoint switches, which are linear mechanical switches with a unique feature. You can customize the actuation point of the switch, also known as the pre-travel. What does this mean? Well, it means that you can tell each switch individually how far down you want to press before it should trigger the key. So, for gamers who want the fastest response time, you can make certain keys really sensitive to get the action done faster or set the key to have a really deep key press so that you make sure you meant to hit that key, like using your grenade, for example. The SteelSeries Apex Pro is advertised to have a pre-travel of 0.4 millimeters to 3.6 millimeters. With our McMessin machine, we can find the exact force required to actuate a key and the distance it actuated at, and we measured 10 different settings on eight different keys to find out if that advertised range was true. Unfortunately, it's not that accurate. This isn't necessarily bad news, but the tested range for this keyboard is from 1mm to 3.8mm. Our results are showing the results for setting 2, which is good for gaming but not for typing. The typing quality is great though, since you can customize the pre-travel to your preferences so you can find the best setup to minimize errors and increase your typing speed. The keys feel stable when typing, although some people may not like the soft finish of the keys. Also, note that the OmniPoint switches are linear and don't provide any tactile feedback if that is something you're looking for. This does help them be decently quieter than some more noisy clicky switch keyboards, and the typing noise of the SteelSeries Apex Pro is par for the course for a mechanical keyboard. It's not the most silent in the world, but it shouldn't annoy anyone while you're typing. Another benefit I mentioned about lower pre-travel settings is improved latency. The board itself has exceptionally low latency, and most people will never be able to feel any delay. 
coupled with the shortest pre-travel, you can have an extremely responsive experience on the Apex Pro. So, this brings us to the main question. Should you buy this keyboard? In short, yes. It's a great gaming keyboard with all the bells and whistles you need to bring your game to the next level. It has customizable actuation of the switches, RGB backlighting, a great build quality and ergonomics, as well as fully macro programmable keys. It's definitely more gaming oriented, so there are other offerings from SteelSeries such as the Apex 7 TKL that offer more feedback from the keys with its tactile switches. If you want a gaming keyboard with even more customizability, including a removable numpad, check out the Mountain Everest Max, although it is a more expensive option. For those of you who want similar performance for less money, the HyperX Ally Origins is a great choice, but its linear switches don't have a customizable pre-travel, so you have to take what you get.